take it when you found out the, the possible extent of, of what happened and um, the ram possible ramifications depending on how it stands um, oh, I guess he's take into account his last three or four years it's it's been a tough shot for him um so you know with, with everything from his you don't want to compare things that happen in your personal life to your footy life but um they certainly compound each other so it's um oh, it's yeah, it's wasn't great on the surface but as i said before hopefully fingers are still crossed for a good result for us that was he in the sort of aftermath of it? Oh, he, he was great. Yeah, no, he was good. He, he's always good. He's he's um he's a tough unit. Um, you know, put on a brave face. He was obviously a, a bit ginger and sore, but um, he's a great clubman. Um, he wanted to be in good spirits. Um, we'd had a great win, uh, so he, he didn't want to bring the mood down at all. So he was fine. Yeah, Scrub was like post game. Uh, just left with a few sweet, and obviously a great win. But then finding out about it, did you guys know? That he was injured in the second half. Like, was that serious potentially? Um, oh, we knew he was injured. Um, it's a, you don't easily miss him out in the footy ground, so um, we knew he was injured, but weren't sure to what extent. Um, and then after the game, yeah, he, he he said he was pretty sore. So obviously we we feared the worst, but um, yeah, we we still had hopes that it'll it'll all be all right. But yeah, it uh, it puts a bit of a dampener on things. Just looking at the long term, there's a lot of fans wondering. Out, come back. What do you think he'll be like? Has to wait another year. Uh, I don't know, mate. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I suppose. It's obviously a huge blow for him. He worked so hard to get back this first time and this happened now. Yeah, yeah. He, he worked extremely hard, and it was a longer road than than most. And um, no ACL was easy to come back from, but he, yeah, he had his troubles along the way. But um, hopefully, he doesn't have to go through it all again. But we'll see what happens. Can you speak to the sort of impact? Some people don't understand from the outside looking in the, the impact he does have out there because perhaps not the possessions, but for someone who's at his feet all the time, what sort of impact does he generally have? Yeah, he's huge. And I think, um, you know, if I'm honest, you, you're probably better off asking opposition what impact he has more so than his teammates. Obviously, we're, we sort of get used to him every week, so maybe we uh, underappreciate him after a while, but... Um, yeah, I'm sure coming up against him every week's um, a, a daunting task. Um, but yeah, he's he's huge for us, um, spiritual leader for us out there. He can get he can get um, yeah, 21 guys going just off off one act, um, and that's a that's a pretty special trait to have. So um, yeah, and obviously his his first season back from his his ACL, um, he's been huge for us this year. How do you reset then? He's not there for the coming weeks at least. Oh, I mean, we're, we'd be shattered for him, but um, yeah, in terms of our season, no, nothing changes. Scotty Lysett did a terrific job yesterday in the second half and had to carry a huge workload against arguably the, the best ruckman in the competition, um, or one of. So, um, yeah, Scott, Scotty's come along in leaps and bounds this year. And, um, you know, if, if things don't work out for Nick, then really excited to see what Scotty can do. And I think you said a couple of weeks ago that Barty's ruck work was as good as yeah, yeah, his first game back against GWS, he rucked really well and I think he had 60-something hit-outs on the weekend as well. So um, he's there if we need him, but you know, as as guys have done all year, guys have come in to, to play a role for us and for the most part got the job done. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. We saw the Bulldogs use Murphy as big inspiration when they won the flag. Do you guys do the same with Nick now, try to do it for him? Uh, <laughs> that's up for you guys to decide, mate. Um, yeah, I'm... Not ruling out that he's okay just yet. So, um, yeah, don't, don't really want to think about that just yet. What is the overwhelming emotion at the moment? Because it was a great win yesterday. I mean, is, is that overriding the disappointment at all? Or is it what happened with Nick? Or is, is that still is that pretty big and looming large for the guys? Oh, obviously, Nick's at the front of our mind. Um, you know, we're all hoping he gets a good result. Um, but, you know, I think we all know how, how good a win it was yesterday against... Um, yeah, the second best team in the competition. Um, they'd won seven in a row and playing at their home deck, it was, it was huge for us. So that was, it was great to win. Um, again, we had plenty of youth out there yesterday, so great experience for them. And for the most part, a lot of them were our better players. Um, albeit we, we had 22 contributors yesterday. But um, yeah, great experience for our young guys. Had a good win at the MCG. Um, I'm sure you guys will be excited by that. Um, 
but yeah, Collingwood Colin have been flying, so nice to beat a good team. Does that end any hoodoo feud? Do you think it should end any sort of hoodoo talk about the MCG for the Eagles? Uh, well, we never talk about it internally. It might for you guys, but um, no, for us it's it's more who we play and not, not where. There was a bit of an altercation between one of your officials and a couple of the um, cameramen last night at the airport. Have you been on uh, I got a Perth Now email that said that. I haven't actually seen the vision or, or read the article, but um, I, I don't know anything about it. If you're going to ask me, I'm sorry. Um, do you know, has there been any talk as to whether or not there'll be an apology offered to the cameraman? Or? Oh, I've got no idea. Um, I'm sorry, cameraman. Um, but no, I'm, I'm not sure what happened. I haven't seen what happened, so. Do you think it's a good look for the club, though, to have an official sort of involved in the, you know, a bit of a... With the, um, the media weren't in an area where we, they weren't allowed to be. Oh, well, I don't want to comment on something I haven't seen. It's, it's dangerous territory, so um, I'm sure if something happened that it shouldn't, we'll, we'll hear about it later in the day. Spoke about your young blokes um, and being impressive yesterday. Um, today, today, grass can't be what happened, what the win was yesterday. I mean, some of them might not have even been born last time. Mm. The pies the check. Oh, yeah, I was, I was talking about it with, with Joshy after the game and um, I don't know whether it was because Nick hurt his knee or, or what, but, um, you know, it, it sort of felt like everyone was um, stayed really humbled after the win yesterday and Joshy actually said, I don't know whether some of these young guys realised how big a win it was and um, I think that's a really good thing for the footy club. You know, guys not getting ahead of themselves, not getting too carried away with, with one win. Um, oh, so... I, yeah, you know, I was really impressed by the way our young guys handled themselves and how the group handled themselves after after the win. And um, but yeah, we've, we've had some some big wins this year that obviously our young guys have, have played a big hand in. So um, hopefully they're they're getting used to that. Does the fact that you've been through this before with Nick help at all in preparing for what's potentially to come, or does it make it just worse? Um, oh, I guess there's 17 teams without Nick anyway. So um, if he wasn't to play, which We've, we've dealt with in the past, you, you find a way around it. Um, we we dealt with Josh, Jack and, and Lekker missing games as well. Um, I know we, we didn't win too many of those games, but you find a way around these things. Um, no clubs based around one player, so, um, yeah. Have you guys reset goals in terms of where you want to finish on the ladder? You're sort of top two, about six games left. So top two is, is there, if you're good enough on the next? Oh, mate, we haven't really talked about it, to be honest with you. Um, each week is the it's such a unique competition at the moment. Every team throws up different challenges. Um, teams are playing so many different styles of footy that um, you really need to invest so much time and effort into your, your opposition that week. And um, that was the case last week. That that'll be the same this week. Bulldogs have changed changed a little bit to um, what we saw in round two. So um, we'll need to have a look at what we did back then, but have a look at how they've been going the last month, and um, yeah, hopefully find a way to beat them. Thank you.